Hey guys, I have the biggest stack of jeans in my closet because I love denim so much and for some reason I'm still searching for more pairs. Do I need them? No, but are there always more styles and cool things coming out? Yes. So in this video, we're going to go through the jeans I ordered and hopefully it'll give you guys an idea of jeans you would be interested in or jeans that you might already be looking at that you can either skip on or go ahead and order before they're sold out as the seasons are starting to change and the weather is getting cooler. Here's what we got going on for today. So let's start getting through the stack. This pair of jeans is from a Goldie. It's the 90s pinch waist. They're high rise straight leg jean. But what drew me to this pair is that they are really tied up here and looser towards the bottom. I'm really into the bottom of the hem. They look very, very nice. I'm excited to try them on. We'll see what they look like. Changed my outfit and threw on the first pair of jeans with this totem tank, which is pretty fitted. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of, you know, what the jeans look like without distracting from anything else. I did get a size 25 in these. They don't feel too tight. They actually feel like the right size. I've just eaten lunch, so I'm a little bit bloated, but that's perfect for trying on these jeans. Now we'll have a better idea about sizing. If I could go back, I would still get a 25, even though it's not my regular size. Sizing down one is the right move for these jeans. I think these are really cool. They're super relaxed feel. It's a very good wash. The butt is nice and tight. Very nice jeans. See if they look good with these sneakers. I wear my Air Forces constantly and my rule of thumb is if the jeans don't look good with the shoes I wear all the time, then they're not gonna stay. They're not for me. As I expected, the shoes look great with these jeans. It hits in a nice spot. They're not too long and not too short. I wouldn't be mad if they were a slightly bit longer, but can't do much about that. I'm born with the height I have, and I don't think they offer different inseams for the Agoldi jeans. For reference, I am 5'6", so I'm not on the tall side, I'm not on the short side, I'm a typical average height. This is just a really laid back, great style, great everyday basic. It can be dressed up with a blazer too, which is nice. Let me know what you guys think down below for each pair, but to me, this is a definite keeper. By the way, I get all of my jeans in a size 26, but I did size down in the Goldie pair because I've had a, a similar uh, style of jean before from them. I actually have them in my closet right now. They're the, the ones with the asymmetrical button fly and they run quite large. So I decided to size down in those, but everything else I got a 26. Now let's talk about these babies. These are the jeans I'm most excited for. They're the ribcage boot cut. The ribcage style from Levi's is hands down my favorite rise that they do. I think these are going to flare out really cool at the bottom of platform shoes. And at the top, your waist is gonna be snatched. So these better work. If these don't work out, I'm gonna be sad because I have been on the hunt for a pair of kind of flared, but not too crazy of a flare, black denim jeans. The platform shoe with the flared pant. I'm so obsessed with this look. Do I even need to explain this decision or tell you what I'm gonna do? Let's let the pants speak for themselves. Platform shoes and flared pants, count me in. The next pair of jeans I picked up is going to be controversial. These are the Levi's Ribcage Straight Ankle Jean. And they are slightly cropped, just the tiniest bit. I know a lot of people say crop jeans are out, but to me they're still in. I love the way crop jeans look with sneakers and ballet flats equally as much as I like the way they look with floor length denim. The other day I was trying on some new shoes I was like, damn, if only I had a pair of cropped jeans because I got rid of mine. Plus, the ribcage cut on Levi's is so flattering on your waist. I mean, I think it's the highest rise they have and it just makes you look good. We're gonna see, we'll test them out. Here we have controversial item number one. I don't know, I really thought I wanted to bring a cropped jean back into my life, but now I'm not so sure. I felt a lot cooler in the Goldie jeans that I just showed you guys. 
Let me throw in a pair of sneakers and a sweater and we'll see. I think I'm remembering now why I got rid of my cropped jeans. For some reason I thought I needed it back in my life, but hmm. I love the rise of them, but if it came down to it at the end of the day, I would pick the Goldies to wear over these. These unfortunately will not be staying. I'm going to return them, but if I was looking for a cropped jean, this is the pair I would get. I just don't want to keep it because I'm going to be reaching for the other style more. Let me know if I'm wrong and you're like, Lexi, no, you should keep the crop jean. It looks better. I might as well get all of the controversial pairs of denim out of the way. This is the Levi's 501 skinny jeans. Okay, before you guys freak out, just hear me out. Whenever I wear boots, I don't always want the look of a baggy jean on the top coming out of the boot. So it's nice to have a good pair of tight fitted jeans that just snatch your body and slip right into those boots easily. We're going to test these out because I need a pair in my wardrobe and whether you like it or not, skinny jeans are the easiest pants to wear with boots. I have not had a skinny jean on my body in ages. It feels a little weird. Let's grab some boots so we can get a real idea of these jeans because I don't think I would be wearing them with anything else. Watch how easily my leg and my jean glide into this boot. <sighs> no tucking required. Oh my gosh, that was such minimal effort. Usually I'm cramming my straight leg jeans into my boots and it's not a fun time. I think I need to keep these just for the sake of having a fitted, fitted pair of pants to go into boots. And the 501s are doing it for me. I think the butt's really cute too. I approve. And this will go great with my other shoes as well. Another keep. This is the last pair of jeans. I am hoping it doesn't work out. They're from Kate. I got them from ThreadUp, so secondhand. It's the Kyle style. And by the way, you can return things on ThreadUp, so if these don't work, I can return them, no worries. So they're cheaper than buying them brand new. I've always wanted to try Kate jeans, but they're so crazy expensive that I'm just not willing to pay that price unless I try a style out beforehand and then kind of get into the brand. Unfortunately, <laughs> these already feel like really nice jeans. So if the fit is really there, or even if the fit's not there, I'm already leaning towards wanting to try more things from them, just from the feel of the denim itself. Kate has such a cool button on their jeans. It's something I've never seen before from another brand. Again, like all the other jeans, I have high hopes and high expectations, and if my expectations are not surpassed, or appeased, they're going back. Okay, these are some low rise jeans. I feel like I'm wearing my boyfriend's jeans almost. Cute, it's kind of hard to tell with the tank top I have on. They're cute, but, sorry, I was looking in the mirror. They're cute, but I don't feel comfortable in these. I mean, let, you, let me know what you guys think. Are they cool? Would you wear them? Maybe this is why they're the Kyle jeans it's a boyfriend cut of jeans. This is making me want to try more Kate jeans because they're so soft. It feels like a pair of jeans that you'd get that's really, really rigid, but then they've been perfectly broken into your body and they just move with you. They feel really, really nice. So if you guys want to see me do a review of Kate jeans, I'm definitely open to doing that. I'm already planning on placing an order after trying these on so I can, you know, pick a style that would be more suited to my taste. There we have it, you guys. That was pretty successful. There were only two items that didn't work out, the Kate jeans and the Levi's cropped jeans, although I'm a little bit on the fence for those. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm a tiny bit on the fence for the skinny jeans, although they would be great to tuck into the boots. For $98, I'm not sure if that justifies the amount of times that I'll wear them. Yeah, let me know how you liked the video down below, if there's anything you disagree with me on or something you think I should reconsider. What jean styles are you liking right now? I wanna know. 
I hope this video is helpful to you in your hunt for jeans, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.